Dinner tonight is gonna to be at the Mosaic Buffet here at the Mandarin Oriental. Guys, I, this, you gotta take a look at this. Let me show you around. This buffet is intense. First of all, a seafood stir fry station with blue crab, prawns, mussels, whole steamed fish. And they basically can stir fry your seafood citron style, citron work camp home style. Sushi, sashimi, different types of seafood salad right in the middle, including smoked salmon, scallops on a half shell, flower crab, giant prawns, some salad, cheese, and bread on this section. Here we got all sorts of Indian food, including fish and biryani, freshly made none. This is the street food section with a lot of street food favorites like skewers, kwaiti, soup. That's gonna be where I'm spending most of my night. Look at this. A giant whole roasted lamb right front and center sitting on a bed of vegetables and potatoes. There's baked oysters, there's lamb chop, there's baked salmon, and here's some stuffed pumpkins, green beans, potatoes, and a shawarma. Also, their dessert section, it's beautiful. Here we have different types of assorted prillings, assorted macaron, there's creme brulee, of course an ice cream station. Now on this side, tons of tarts and cakes. It's a lot of stuff. Let's get started. Steamed with chilies, cilantro, garlic. Grab some black pepper clams. Because Malaysia is such a melting pot of different cultures, I mean, this buffet's got everything. It's got Mediterranean food, Indian food, tons of seafood, of course, local Malay food. It's so much different flavors and spices going into the foods. I've been eyeing to steamed fish as soon as I saw it. This looks tremendous. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is just buttery. That fish is so delicate. It's flaky, a little bit spicy, and taste of ginger, and so many different hints of subtle flavor. Pepper clams. Whoa. I didn't never had any like that before. I know only the shell is left. I still wanna eat up that pepper sauce. Very peppery. That sauce, a little bit sweet, a little spicy. That goes so well with that snappy clam. This is one of my favorite things already. Scallop on a shell, dunk it in a little pineapple chili sauce. <laughs> oh, this is good chili sauce. Very citrusy, very pineapple-y. The heat, kind of a slow burn. That's creamy as well. A little palate cleanser with a seaweed salad. Hmm. I love how everything has just so much flavor. Like even the seaweed salad, nice aroma from the sesame. A little smokiness from the pepper. I got some cocktail shrimp, just so I can eat more of my sauce. Got a little horseradish with my pineapple chili sauce. Mm. That's a really good combination. Creamy horseradish. I love that thing on seafood. I love it on meat. And combine that with that pineapple chili sauce. That works on seafood very, very well. Fresh flower crab. The meat of this crab is so delicate, it's almost creamy. And finally, some bread, 
to eat my hummus with. Mm. This bread is good, and this hummus is really good. That was a dynamite first plate of food. Mm. This plate went back and got more pepper clams. That's my favorite thing on a buffet so far. Also, look at this little shrimp salad. It looks like pieces of mango on the bottom and caviar on top. Mmm. Sweet, citrusy, juicy, crunchy, and very refreshing. This is a beef salad with Parmesan cheese, a little bit of tomatoes. Ooh, and some kind of little poppin' berry in it. It just gives a burst of citrusy juice. Well, oh, that's excellent. Also, it got some green curry beef. Mm. That's a delicious dish. Oh. I could just get a whole bowl of rice and just eat this all day long. The meat is super tender. Some pieces are lean, some pieces are fatty. The curry is coconutty. I think it's burning my mouth up. Oh, that's great. Also, I got some flour crab curry. Mmm. I mean, cold flour crab is good. This is even better. Best meat is right here in the joints. Look at all that sweet, succulent crab meat. Some of the innards are attached to this as well. This thing is sweet, it's smoky. Good amount of spice from the curry. And the meat is so soft. All you gotta do is kind of bite down and suck a little bit. It just comes right out. This way you get the nice flavor of the curry as well. That was an awesome round too. Next round is already here. Check this out. A tandoori platter. There's tandoori lamb, there's chicken, there's shrimp, and fish. And then some mint chutney sauce on the side. The smell from this, it, it's almost overwhelming. Look how beautiful this is cooked. Gorgeous char on the outside. This color is so pretty. And all this fresh out of the tandoori oven. That signature tandoori taste. That's what jumps out as soon as I take a bite of this. That shrimp has such a beautiful char. It obtains its own natural sweetness and that smokiness from the tandoori oven. Just, just completely steeped into every single fiber of that shrimp. So excited for this. This looks, this just looks tender. It's basically wobbling like a, like a little lamb popsicle right now. Hmm. Uh, Oh, that lamb is so tender. I love the parts right near the bone with all that beautiful char ish. It's a little crunchy, brings a bit of bitterness. It really goes well with the fattiness of the lamb. Mm. Because of the fat of the lamb on the outside, when this thing chars up, those pieces just turns into crunchy little fat bits. That's where all that flavor is. Look at this. This is the juiciest part, right by the bones. The most charred part and the juiciest part. Mm. And as much as I love lamb, that fish might be the best thing on this plate. This thing is just pure tenderness and good amount of fat in here. Look how juicy and fragile this piece of fish is. And this whole thing just breaks apart so easily when you're poking at it. It breaks apart even easier when it's in your mouth. Just releasing all that nice fat. Again, that great smokiness of the tandoori oven plays a role in the flavor as well. There's some top-notch Indian food here. Also, I'm trying to be more healthy. Look at this. I'm eating broccoli, but it's barbecue broccoli. There's also roasted pineapples and cauliflower. Mmm. <laughs> well, I didn't know broccoli could taste like this. That's maybe one of the best bites of broccoli I've ever had. I mean, granted, if I eat like one piece of broccoli a year, but this is amazing. What? whatever magic was applied to it and make it taste this good. That same magic could change the world. I mean, this whole thing is roasted so beautifully. You taste that nice char and the sauce is roasted and cheese sauce is applied. This is the cheesiest, yummiest broccoli in the world. I also got roasted cauliflower. Mm, it looks so pretty. Mmm. Some kind of chilies they use on the outside of this cauliflower. First of all, it's roasted so well. This chili sauce they put on this cauliflower is cooked into the cauliflower. So you get that bit of sweetness from the cauliflower along with so much heat. I don't think I've ever enjoyed a veggie plate this much before. Mm. Well, 
I never praise broccoli, but I'm praising it now. Also, I got this. This is a kebab, and it's unique because it's covered in peppers on the outside and roasted. Inside, there's some onions as well. <laughs> this thing is so smoky. I think there's some cumin in here, some coriander. Really crunchy, too, with all the vegetables inside. Next play finally went and got a piece of that giant roasted lamb. They gave me some skin and meat. Got some baked oysters. Mmm. Whoa. Juicy plump oysters, sweet tomatoes. That citrusy sweet sauce covers that oyster, but doesn't really overwhelm it. So you can still taste the awesome flavor of the oyster. Also got a chicken shawarma. Mmm. Flaky wrap, tender pieces of chicken, and the sauce they use here. Really creamy and milky. Got a piece of the roasted lamb. Look at this. This thing has got such a beautiful golden color on the outside, inside layer of fat. Mmm. The outside layer of skin almost tastes like Peking duck. A subtle crunch and just melts. Mmm. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Mm, such a delight with a little crunch. I don't think I ever had a lamb skin and definitely never tasted like this. Beautiful smoky flavor and of course that delicious lamb fat. Whenever I get meat skewers in Chinatown anywhere, I always prefer lamb skewers over beef because the fattiness from the lamb when it's roasted by the fire, that fat just, just crispies up. It just tastes so good. Mm, whoa. I'll be honest, the meat itself, I really didn't think it was gonna be this tender. I'm always happy when I'm pleasantly surprised by foods that I kind of judge by the cover a little bit and I wouldn't think it'd be all that good because just looking at this, I was thinking like, yeah, this is gonna be not that tender, but this is just pure tenderness. Dunk it in some of that mushroom sauce. <laughs> we barely need to chew that. And then take a piece, add some fat to it. Oh. It's a glorious roasted lamb. Mmm. Oh, the short rib too. Whoa. You can see all the juice coming to the surface of the short rib, and I'm just cutting it with my fork, barely using any pressure. <sighs> I mean, I got some of the short rib and some cheesy polenta. They're about the same tenderness level. They cook their meat very, very well here. Chicken skewer. <laughs> nah, this is good too. I definitely got one that's been sitting there for a while, but still, chicken is still tender, sweet, beautiful, smoky, caramelized flavor on the outside. Mm. This kind of reminds me of the chicken skewers I got on Singapore Airlines. By the way, Singapore Airlines has a killer chicken skewer. This tastes like that. They also have noodle stations here where they make a bowl of noodle for you fresh. And this is uh, Mi Rebus. This is basically a bowl of gravy noodles. Look at this thick gravy covering. The noodles is some egg in here, some meat, some tofu. Smells like curry. It smells so good. Mmm. That's really good. The curry is delicious. Spicy, coconutty, little bit of sweetness to it. The noodles are able to grab onto that thick sauce really, really well. Pieces of beef inside, beautifully tender. The heat in the curry is exceptional. This definitely doesn't taste like something you get on a buffet. Mmm. This is a very slurp-worthy bowl of noodles. Well, it really tastes like the actual stuff you get on the streets of Malaysia. This is actually better than some of the curry noodle places I've been to. Highly recommend if you ever come here. That last bowl of noodles left me sweating. I'm very happy. I think it's time for a bowl of stir-fry seafood. Big plate of stir-fry seafood. I asked it to be cooked citron style. Giant mussels, prawns, flower crab. Oh, look at that sauce. Ooh. Sauce is spicy. There's numbing peppercorn. A little sweet. A 
little sweet. Goes really well with the seafood. That was a delicious plump piece of shrimp. I love it when seafood's interesting like this. Here they stir fry different dipping sauces. I mean, butter is good, but there's so many good things that goes with seafood. And this is definitely one of them. Mm. This is some meat and chicken broth. Mm. Whoa. Oh, this is so elegant and delicious. It looks really simple. Mmm. This is highly addictive. The thin rice noodles are so chewy. Usually these things are always soggy. The broth tastes like it could be the essence of life. This is like the ultimate Asian chicken noodle soup. Like garlic in here as well. Really unassuming bowl of soup. That's so good. I got a second bowl. Also, because these noodles are so thin, I soaked up all that delicious chicken flavor. Traditional bowl of chicken noodle soup and got nothing on this. I think it's dessert time. The problem with buffets that have so many desserts that look good is it's gotta get one of each. This is one of the best dessert sections I've seen on a buffet. My plate has been overcrowded. Let's just start with the coffee cake. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Delicious taste of coffee. The flavor is so milky and creamy. A little bitterness from the ground up coffee beans and a slight crunch from the bottom of the cake. That's a 10 out of 10 dessert. Also got some bread pudding with condensed milk. Mm. I like a little bit of crust on my bread pudding, and that thing definitely had that. This one is really pretty. This is a cheesecake, and it made of Dorian's hopping on top. I'm gonna bet this thing is made out of Dorian. Mm-hmm. That is a creamy, delicious, funky Dorian cheesecake. Also, I got a piece of this chocolate cake. Break the top off. Inside, it looks like some layers mousse. Some layers of very dense-looking chocolate cake. <laughs> this is a chocolate cake for chocolate lovers. Dark chocolate, little bitter. Mousse is delightfully light and milky. It's this bottom part that's just exceptional. Little bits of crunchy, maybe toffee inside. If you don't like dark chocolate, this is not gonna be your thing. Luckily, I love dark chocolate. So this cake to me, not overly sweet, very much contains a rich chocolatey flavor. Definitely a chocolate cake for dark chocolate lovers. That is amazing. Next plate, got some creme brulee, some quay. Eat that with some milk tea ice cream. Mm. That's something you'll see all across Malaysia. It's such a fun snack. It's made out of rice, so it's a little mochi -esque. It's chewy, super fragrant. Oh, and by the way, this milk tea ice cream is exceptional. It's milky, creamy, and refreshing. That's hard to do. Sometimes when something is too milky and creamy, it gets a little too rich. Not that. Mango pomelo with sago inside. Very fruity, very refreshing. It cleanses your palate and it leaves you so satisfied. This overall has been a very impressive buffet. I feel like everywhere I go, I tend to find like really good buffets that outdo each other, whether in terms of desserts or dishes themselves or the presentations, the decor. This place looks beautiful. Everything is presented so well. First buffet I've ever been to that had a whole roast of lamb, a bunch of dishes made to order. The dessert is out of this world. This might be one of the best dessert buffets I've been to. And for around $45, and that's including everything, with all the seafood, all the dessert, all the delicious dishes, this is a great deal. Hey guys, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by a, a new sponsor, the new Mukbee app. If you guys never heard of Mukbee before, it's a completely free food app to help you find food recommendations by local foodies just like you. And instead of searching by restaurants with Mukbee, you can actually search by the dish itself. Mukbee is a food app made for food lovers by food lovers, and their mission is to create a global food community. That way, wherever you go in the world, you'll be able to find amazing food recommendations from local foodies. Cause come on, especially when you're traveling, you never want to waste a meal. Also, people ask me all the time for food recommendations 
recommendations in a particular city or country. With the Mukbi app, you can create your own favorite food list. You can share with the public. You can share with your friends, family. You can even encourage others to add recommendations to your list. For example, I already listed out some of my favorite yeasts from Tokyo, Vegas, New York, Singapore. And I'll continue to add more lists, more recommendations. So if you're going somewhere, you don't want to scroll through all my past YouTube videos, follow me on Mukbi and check out my recommended lists. Mukbi also introduced Mukbi coins that you can eventually trade for prizes, discount at restaurants. And because this is a new community, and Mukbi wants everybody around the world to share their local favorite foods, from now until the end of August, every single dish recommendation you post on Mukbi will automatically enter you into a drawing for dozens of great prizes like Visa gift cards. And the grand prize is a food trip to New York City. So make sure to download the Mukbi app, follow Mukbi on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media platforms. And on August 20th, the winners will be announced. Again, Mukbi is completely free. So download today and start sharing your local food secrets and hidden gems wherever you are in the world. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.